Well, they are the barbecue queens, Karen Adler and Judith Furtick, known uh, for taking food to the next level. And the best-selling cookbook authors are from right here in Kansas City. And I'm here with one half of that dynamic duo, Karen Adler and Belinda and Judith are going to take over here later on the show. Uh, right now, we're working up with some acorn squash. Now, first off, I'm not familiar with acorn squash on the grill and barbecue, but why would we want to do this in the smoker or grill here? Um, a lot of times during the holidays, you've got maybe the meat, the mm -hmm. turkey, the stuffing, um, maybe a vegetable casserole, and they're all in the oven. And if you only have one oven, yeah, that space. can be a problem. <laughs> that can be a problem. But if you only have one oven and you also have a grill outside, then you actually have two ovens. Okay. Your indoor oven and your outdoor oven. Gotcha. Now, real quick, before we get started, we're using acorn squash today, but can we use this recipe on any type of squash or is this particular to acorn squash? Any, any winter squash will be great. So okay. pumpkin, Hubbard, spaghetti, um, even yams and carrots oh. will work with this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, what, what do we got to do to get started here? Because I'm anxious Well. and hungry. Cut it in <laughs> half and then you want to get the seeds out. Get all those seeds out of there. That's for so sure. So you would get the seeds out. This all one right. I already have nice and cleaned up. Am I going to work on this yeah. one and you Go work on that one? Put, okay. put a little oil on that one. All right. And the reason you put the oil on it is so that the uh, foil won't stick because if we put this out on the grill, yeah. we're going to have the foil on it. And the reason I know that is because this one that I did earlier today oh, no. got a little stuck because I forgot to put the oil <laughs> on. You know, so that's always okay. kind of fun. So you want a good yeah. thick coating of oil over that's here. That's great. Okay. And now, is this mostly on the top or do you want to get down there where we took the seeds out to? Mainly on the top. Okay. Mainly on the top. Then lay it flat. On to, mm -hmm. okay, and just wrap it with the foil. Oh, thank you. Is there any particular just style points for how we okay. scrunch it up? I'm gonna go four corner style. That's beautiful. All right. I just made that up. I don't know if that's that's okay. Four and then turn it style. over. Great. And because you're gonna use this on the smoker, you want you want some holes. To let it breathe and let that everything come out To get the smoke out of there. in there. To sure. get the smoke in there. Okay. And then this would go on your smoker indirect, so you'd have some wood chips. Mm -hmm. And I have some yeah. some wood chips, right? And the wood chips, the easiest thing for wood chips, too, is to do a little foil packet. Mm -hmm. And I actually sometimes make this a little foil boat. Oh, okay. So that the... and. You know, a lot of people like to wet them, but you don't mm -hmm. have to. They can be dry, and as soon as they start smoking. Is there a particular flavor of wood chips you do? Because I know you can get, uh, not the flavor, but you know, you get hickory, or you can get uh, the different... Yes, and yeah. for the for the uh, vegetables, I'd go oak or fruit mm -hmm. woods, uh, pecan maybe, but I, I don't think I would do a heavy hickory or a heavy mesquite. Okay. Yeah. Probably not mesquite on your on your no. squash, huh? Okay. No, no mesquite on your squash. <laughs> well, so, yeah. No, I was just going to say, but so you, you already told us we can use uh, any type of winter squashes here, but uh, so at, how long are we putting this on and, and, and approximate temperature should we use? So um, your indirect oven or your indirect grill is probably about 350. 350, okay. And it's going to take about an hour to an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And you know it's done when you can pierce it upside down with a fork oh, okay. and it's soft. There it so is. So you go all the way through. Okay. And now you got some mixtures over here sure. to put on top of it. Let's get through that so real quick So that's cooking. Here. Yeah. Then this is how easy the butter is. The, the um, four tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now we're talking. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Yep. And then the red pepper flakes. Ooh. You can put a little in this, but you can hold them to the side if you aren't sure if everybody's going to want the heat. Mm -hmm. And the same with the salt and pepper. If you want to just salt and pepper um, the squash instead. So this can be how simple this butter is. Yeah. So really fast, you can make this several days ahead and have it in the refrigerator. Okay. Um, and you just mix it all together. The other thing that you can do with it, if you want it to be pats, mm -hmm. uh, and I made this oh, batch yeah. too. So if you want to do a little little taste on that oh, yeah, and see the, the good flavor, you can also put it in a... Oh my goodness. Put it in a parchment paper so that if you want to, <laughs> you can. But I would, we probably shouldn't say you just don't need to eat that just no. for, for Thanksgiving dinner, even though I just want to keep eating that spoonful because that's ridiculously good. We're running out of time here, so we got to put it on the, so we, we get all that mixed up and made up and you, and we get it on, of our, on our acorn squash here. Right. So the done acorn squash, you go ahead and taste that okay. one. And I will put a little bit more of 
the filling, and you just want to mash it with the fork. So oh, okay, and go ahead and mix the mash fruit it a all little up there bit with it. And yeah. let everybody else mash it a little bit more. So, and all this right. is when I would go ahead and do a little bit of salt, and pepper, salt and pepper on it. All right, well, Karen, thank you so much for those tips. I'm going to go ahead and toss it to you, Belinda, and I'm going to try my squash.